understood what causes PPH, we shall try to understand what are the risk factors which predispose or increase a pregnant woman's chances of having excessive bleeding after delivery. So there have been certain risk factors identified related to pregnancy or related to labor which can predispose to this complication. But having said that, most cases of PPH occur in women who are healthy, who have no prior pre-existing risk factors. So that is why, as I said, this complication is unpredictable and can complicate any delivery or cesarean. So coming back to the risk factors. So when we talk about the risk factors related to pregnancy, simply maternal age, very young women as well as older pregnant women are more likely to bleed excessively after delivery. Maternal weight is an important risk factor. So women who are excessively obese with a body mass index of more than 35 are more likely to experience this complication. Pregnant women wherein the uterus is over distended or over stretched because of a twin pregnancy or a triplet pregnancy or because of the presence of large fibroids inside the uterus can also have excessive bleeding after delivery simply because the uterus is over stretched, over distended and it fails to squeeze rapidly enough allowing continuous blood loss to occur. Medical complications in pregnancy such as very high blood pressure, something that we call preeclampsia also predisposes to this complication. A very important set of complications in pregnancy related to the placenta predisposed to PPH. So placental complications, namely placenta previa and morbidly adherent placenta significantly increase the risk of PPH. What is placenta previa? We just said that the placenta is an organ which is stuck to the wall of the uterus and is full of blood and supplies blood to the baby during pregnancy. This placenta may be adherent to any wall of the uterus but if it is present in the lower part of the uterus and covering the neck or the mouth of the womb then this condition is called a placenta previa. There is another rarer complication related to the placenta something that is called as a morbidly adherent placenta. Morbidly adherent placenta is a rare complication. This happens in women who have had a previous one or more cesarean delivery. In this situation what happens is that the placenta in the subsequent pregnancy implants over the previous scar site and is adherent to it because of which after delivery of the baby the placenta fails to separate from the uterine wall increases the risk of PPH many many fold. So morbidly adherent placenta as I said is a rare complication but is being seen more frequently nowadays because of the increased incidence of cesarean sections. So placenta previa as well as morbidly adherent placenta both these placental complications can be recognized and diagnosed during pregnancy on the routine antenatal ultrasound scans. If we talk about the risk factors related to labor, now women who have induced labor are more likely to bleed more after delivery. Women wherein the labor tends to be prolonged more than 12 hours are more likely to have PPH. Women giving birth to bigger size babies, women who require an instrumental delivery such as a forceps or a vacuum delivery are more likely to have PPH because the instrumentation, the bigger size baby can all lead to tears or lacerations in the vagina or cervix leading to heavier bleeding. So these are some of the risk factors during pregnancy or during labor which can increase a pregnant woman's risk of experiencing heavy bleeding after delivery. With this I say goodbye and good day to all of you.